This kind of feels like a matchstick to me. It definitely has got a decent amount of whip to it here too. But there's potential. That thing there was smoked. <laughs> Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm going to be doing a very interesting test comparing the stock shaft options for the new Ping G425 drivers. Specifically for today's test, I'm going to hit all five drivers with the Ping G425 Max 9 degree head. The first shaft we're going to test is going to be the Ulta Distancer. This is the only golf shaft that is not going to be a stiff golf shaft, but I wanted to include it in the mix. Clearly with my club speed, I don't fit into this shaft, but I wanted to showcase the, the height and trajectory that you get with this particular shaft. Secondly, we are going to be hitting the Ulta CB Slate. So this is the new Ulta CB. This is a counterbalance golf shaft. So it comes in a 55 gram stiff golf shaft. It's gonna be a little higher higher trajectory and higher spinning compared to the other three shafts we will hit. We also have the Tensai AV Orange Golf Shaft. This shaft comes in a 55 gram and 65 gram option. Uh, this is going to be kind of like a mid trajectory, mid spin option that you can get with the new G425 drivers. The other two golf shafts we're going to be testing with are going to be the Ping Tour 65 and 75 Golf Shaft and the Odilla Rogue 70S. The Odilla Rogue 70S kind of fits right in between the 65 and 75 with the Ping Tour golf shaft. It's gonna be a very, very low spinning, very, very stable golf shaft. The Ping Tour, as I mentioned, comes in a 65 and 75, and it's gonna be a fairly low spinning, low launch golf shaft. But keep in mind, these launch and spin characteristics that you typically see with golf shafts are always player dependent. It's not always gonna be very accurate, but typically the lighter golf shaft will launch a little higher and spin a little higher, where the heavier golf shaft will launch a little lower and spin a little lower. So I wanna test that. So I'm gonna put my absolute max golf swing to test today. I'm gonna hit five shots with each of these driver shafts with me swinging at 100%. I'm going to take a look at the differences between these golf shafts. First up is the Tense Orange. Uh, this is typically kind of like your mid-launch, mid-spin golf shaft. I'm excited to test all these golf shafts and see what we can find out. Okay, so five shots with the Tensai AV Orange Golf Shaft. My club speed was hovering around about just a little over 110 miles an hour as I hit these first five shots. The one thing that definitely stood out to me was the height. So you will notice that the ball was flying about 130 feet in the air on average with a landing angle of 41.9. So it was flying fairly high. Spin rate was around about 2200. So it was still a decent spin considering it was flying very, very high. Next up, the next golf shaft I will test with is going to be the Ping Tour golf shaft. We're going to hit five with that one and we'll take a look at those numbers. Okay, so five shots with the Ping Tour golf shaft. Now keep in mind, feel is always completely different with every single golfer. I'm going to touch on the feel that I noticed with the Ping Tour versus the AV Orange. First thing I noticed with the Ping Tour shaft, it just felt like it was just a little bit more stable in my hands at impact. That's kind of all that it felt like. Um, you'll notice kind of pretty similar numbers across the board with regards to kind of spin. But there was one number that really stood out to me, and that is definitely the height with this particular golf shaft. Um, but you will notice my club speed, I got about 0.6 miles an hour more faster with the Ping Tour 65. Like I said, it just felt like I was able to transfer the energy just a little bit better with this particular golf shaft, comparing it to the Tensai Orange golf shaft. Um, but it's kind of interesting, I picked up 0.6 mile an hour club speed but I actually picked up almost two miles an hour ball speed. So I was having a better time 
hitting more in the middle of the club face with this shaft versus the other one. And that maybe comes back down to the feel piece a little bit there as well. Kind of interesting how it launched a little bit lower. It was actually kind of quite significantly lower than the Tensai Orange. I would expect that the, the Ping Tour shaft is supposed to be a lower launching golf shaft when compared to the Tensai AV Orange, but I'm kind of surprised that it was quite significantly lower. You kind of notice how the Tensai AV Orange actually carried a little bit further because it was launching a little higher, but the Ping Tour just chased out a little bit more. And that comes down to the height. When I was hitting the Tensai AV Orange, I was hitting it about 130 feet in the air. When I was hitting the Ping Tour, it was about 108 feet in the air too. So that's just showcasing the different launch characteristics between these two golf shafts. Next up, let's hit a golf shaft that should launch a little bit more on the higher side. Let's, let's throw in that senior distance of 40 gram golf shaft just to showcase and see if there's, if there's noticed any kind of differences there too. It's important to note that this golf shaft for sure does not fit my swing speed, but let's just kind of see if we notice any variables. Okay, so we've got the Ulta Distanza. This kind of feels like a matchstick to me. It definitely has got a decent amount of whip to it here too. It's, so the weight of it's only 40 grams. Let's see if we notice any differences maybe in my dispersion or the height with this shaft. That first shot kind of just showcases it right there. I generated even more club speed with the lighter golf shaft. I even generated a lot of ball speed on that particular shot. But the spin rate at 3400, very, very high. It was straight, but it didn't nearly go quite as far as those other drives that I hit first up. But there's potential. That thing there was smoked. Okay, Ulta Distanza. So much potential to generate more club speed, but for a player that swings as fast as I do, so much potential to hit some more sideward golf shots. And we can see this with our, my dispersion pattern. You can see, further shot I hit today, definitely was up there with the, the Ulta Distanza. But you will notice the furthest one to the right was with the Ulta Distanza, shortest one was Ulta, Dis Ulta Distanza. I just had a hard time getting that club face square at impact. And that's because this golf shaft, very, very light. Surprised I'm not, I'm sure I could probably break this golf shaft if, if I really wanted to there too. So had a hard time matching up the club face. Now, when you're fitting for a golf shaft with your, with your driver, you definitely want to fit to the kind of lightest golf shaft that you can handle with regards to the dispersion if you want to increase your, your club distance. But Clearly this golf shaft was a little bit too light for me. But let's take a look at the characteristics with this driver. So you will notice I did pick up two miles an hour more club speed with this light golf shaft. I got up to about 112.9 and it actually was very, very consistently fast. Ball speed was fast, efficiency was pretty good overall. Uh, but you will notice what happened to the spin rate. The spin rate kind of jumped from around about that 2200 with the first two golf shafts up to 2820, but also not only did the spin rate jump, the consistency jumped as well. So you'll notice that plus or minus 568. So very inconsistent with regards to the numbers. What's also very interesting and so far with the first three golf shafts is the carry distance. Carry distance is kind of separated by one or two yards overall. We'll notice with more spin, this thing didn't quite roll out because the height was too high. We know it's 136 feet in the air with this particular golf shaft. So this potential for those players that need a little extra help to generate some more club speed, absolutely this is a great option for those senior golfers or those, those women out there that, try, that want to generate a little bit more club speed. This is a great option for players that are losing a little bit of club speed. But for those guys that are already swinging pretty fast, you'll notice pretty whippy, makes it a little bit harder to get that thing squared up. It's for the slower swing speed golfer. Time to switch to a much more stable golf shaft. So we went from the Ultra Distanza that was 40 grams. Now we're switching to the Odilla Rogue White. This is gonna be your most stable, low spinning shaft of the five that we're gonna be testing, with the exception of the Ping Tour in the 75 gram range. That one's gonna be slightly lower spinning than this particular model. But we've got the Odilla Rogue 70S golf shaft. Let's see how this compares to the other three shafts. Okay, so we're one swing back to a more suitable golf shaft 
for my swing speed. Check out how straight that is. That blue dot is flashing up and down right on the center line. So that's, that's awesome to showcase just how stable this particular golf shaft is. For a player that has a lot more aggression in their golf swing, Dollar Rogue is a great stable golf shaft. That might be a bad shot. Well, I thought that was going to be a really bad shot. So this really showcases the stability of this golf shaft. Notice how the spin rate stayed down on that one. I feel like that was a miss it, but it was still very, very solid across the board. So really interesting what happened there with regards to my club speed. You'd think as I'm going through this process, the more warmer up I possibly could get, that the more club speed I'd generate. Well, when we went from the 40 gram golf shaft to the 70 gram shaft, that's quite the range, that's 30 grams heavier. We'll notice that I lost over two miles an hour of club speed there. So I was going after it pretty hard and I've gone after every shot really hard to try and showcase this. You will notice club speed dropped. Actually the heaviest golf shaft was the slowest club speed of them all. But it's not always about club speed. The most important thing is definitely comes down to getting in the right numbers across the board, whether that's launch, whether that's spin, and total distance is going to be affected by that too. So we take a look and see the heaviest golf shaft that we've tested with. Notice the spin rate drop. So the spin rate dropped by about 500 RPMs versus the Tor and the Tenzai Orange golf shaft. Now I'm a little surprised that it dropped by that much. But what I am kind of impressed with is the consistency. So it was definitely consistently spinning the least out of the golf shafts. One thing you will notice, once again, the carry distance is kind of around about that 290 area again. But because the bull was spinning less, it was chasing out a little more. So this one rolled out the furthest to 318.9, which is about three or four yards further than all the other shafts that we've tested with so far. And then also you will notice the height. So this is the lowest trajectory of all the golf shafts. So you also notice the dispersion pattern. So the dispersion pattern was very similar compared to the, the pink tour and the Tensai AV orange golf shaft. So you will notice the blue, the white, and the yellow. Those are more with regards to fitting me with regards to my club speed. So you will notice they were flying the straightest. And finally, in today's testing of the G425 stock offerings, is the Ulta CB Slate. Of all the stiff golf shafts, this will be the higher launch, higher spinning golf shaft of the group. Keep in mind that we did test the Ulta Distancer, which is, which is the senior golf shaft, which is going to have a much higher flex. But this particular golf shaft in the stiff category is going to be your higher launch, higher spinning shaft. And then we hit the Ulta CB slate. So CB stands for counterbalance. Really kind of interesting stuff. I did hit three or four very good shots with this particular golf shaft. You notice I did have that one miss it in there when I left that face a little bit open there to the right. But there are four very, very good orange circles out there with this one there too. So it was a sneaky good winner. Even though my club speed would normally tell me, hey, you probably don't fit this particular golf shaft. I'd actually performed pretty well, and actually out of all the shafts that we hit, it did go the furthest today, and that's because I was able to generate almost the fastest club speed with this particular golf shaft, and the spin rate stayed down. So if you're able to launch the ball high and spin it low, you're going to generate a little bit more distance. So this was a sneaky surprise right there, but let's take a look at the numbers and see what, what we can kind of find out. So. The golf shaft that generated the highest club speed was the Ulta Distancer at 112.9. The next lightest golf shaft was the Ulta CB Slate, 112.4. Then the Ping Tour 65, 111.0. Got the Odilla Rogue at 110.7 and the Tenzai AV Orange at 110. So you'll notice the three heavier golf shafts were kind of separated by about 0.6 miles an hour in club speed. So kind of interesting, lighter golf shafts generated more club speed, the heavier golf shafts generated less club speed. But what's more important is 
how the golf shaft helps you hit the golf ball in the right place on the club face. You can see that the spin changes with each particular golf shaft did vary. You will notice that the lightest golf shaft did spin the highest, and you'll notice that the heaviest golf shaft did spin the lowest. But you'll kind of notice how the other three were kind of right in the middle with regards to around 21 to 2200 RPMs. So kind of interesting. The one thing that stands out to me is the two lightest golf shafts gave the highest range of margin. So you'll notice the plus or minus number, which is very important to look at, that was with the Ulta Distancer, plus or minus 568. And the Ulta CB Slate was at 450 with regards to plus or minus. And then you'll notice the Adela Rogue White 70, the heaviest golf shaft that probably fits my swing speed more or less. Notice that the consistency number was the smallest there. If we look at carry distance, as I mentioned, the Ulta CB Slate definitely was a sneaky winner there. It did carry the furthest by about seven yards. It was actually very, very impressive because it was launching higher and spinning less. But you'll kind of notice how it was definitely up there with regards to height, 136 feet with the, with the Ulta Distancer and 134 feet with the Ulta CB Slate. Those were the two lightest golf shafts. And then you'll notice how the Dilla Rogue and the Ping Tour 65, those were flying a little bit lower, and that's kind of the more trajectory that I like to kind of play. It makes sense why I kind of fit into those golf shafts. Finally, we want to talk about dispersions. So dispersion is very, very important when it comes to having your driver in your hand, because you want to hit more fairways for sure. So, I want to touch on the Odilla Rogue White 70. So notice how there's that blue flashing dot right in the middle of the screen. There's also another blue dot that's right next to that one there as well. So it was the straightest on my really good shots. You notice the Ulta CB Slate. I had some fairly good orange circles, but you'll notice I had left the face open on one of those. You notice the Ulta Distancer, 40 gram senior golf shaft that was kind of all over the place with regards to dispersion. And then you kind of notice how the Tenzai AV Orange and the Ping Tour was also very, very consistent there as well. So it is important to make sure you get club fit for the right golf shaft. Part of our fitting process at Second Swing is we hit the fit for the, for the head and then test out all these different golf shaft options. The nice thing is with Ping is you've got five stock options that are no upcharge that will definitely cover the, a wide range of golfers here too. It's important for you as a golfer to test the range with these golf shafts because as I mentioned, it is always player dependent. Everyone loads the golf shaft differently. Everyone feels the golf shaft differently. So it's important to make sure that you work with your club fitter to get fit for the right golf shaft. And what better place to get fit is at Second Swing in our stores on, and or at online. We can definitely help you out to make sure that you fit into the correct Ping G425 driver shaft.